In this video, we'll learn how to subtract numbers up to 20. Just like in addition, money is a typical example of when we use subtraction in real life. Examples like um, you have 20 pence in your pocket, you spend 5p to buy a carrier bag, how much do you have left? So we'll use money, the context of money, to explain how to subtract. So I have eight pence. I have eight pence to begin with. And I spend three pennies. So what do I have left now? So from the eight pence, I will take away three. So two, three, what is left? And that is five pence. In another example, so I have ten pence to begin with, and there is ten pence. I spent four pence on something. What do I have left? So I have this ten p coin, but if I want to take away four. I'd rather exchange that 10p coins for 10 single pennies. So then that makes subtracting a bit easier. So I take away that to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So out of this 10, I take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. What do I have left? I have left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 pence. And in another case, I have 13 pence to begin with. And I will take away five pence. Now, if I am to take away five, one, two, three, I haven't taken away enough. So I'm going to convert again this to single pennies and two p, two p coins. So I will use, I'll take away this and put ten Two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got ten pens instead of this. So ten and the three makes thirteen in total. I'm going to take away five. It's easy now. One, two, three, four, five. So what is left? We've got two, four, six, seven, eight. So eight pence is left. And if I had 20 pence and took away seven, so 20 pence, I need to take away seven. Again, I can't easily take away, so what I'm going to be doing is converting that for um, some more pennies. So there is a 20, I've got 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Out of the 20, I'll take away 7, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is left? I've got ten, twelve, thirteen left. So this is how you actually take away. With practice, you'll be able to do this without the coins. I just used the coins to illustrate how it actually happens in real life. But use receipts or examples when you go shopping to work out what is left or the remainder and that will help you master 
this specific skill.